In part two of Understanding Malware, we're going to help you to identify scareware and do the most important thing of avoiding it, which is updating legitimate software. Let's look at some live scareware examples. Some things to look at with scareware would be it runs an automatic fake scan. It has a really stupid name for the program and possibly a year after it. And a lot of exclamation points. You might also see down on the bottom right, especially with uh, XP and Windows 7, something in the system tray, always calling to severe alarm. Real software typically won't do that. Another thing that will happen is a browser will be forced to open and a really dumb URL will pop up. And for a bit of comic relief. Yeah, I've seen a few that were this bad. Here's another example of scareware. Notice the dumb name. No year this time, but they often have years. Forcing a browser to open, that's a common behavior of scareware. And just kind of get a feel for what this looks like. Here we have a call to action with an exclamation point. That Now we have uh, the addition these days of phone numbers. So let's chat a little bit about phone numbers. If we take a look at Norton's website, you'll notice that there's no phone number and no contact link. There's a reason for that. Legitimate software companies do not want you to contact them by phone. They really don't want you to contact them by email either. They want you to sign up through filling out forms. So let's look at some methods to lessen the risk of scareware problems coming up in the first place. In addition to running good antivirus and good spyware scans, you need to do another thing, the most important thing, and that is immunize your programs against scareware in the first place. So let's look at how to update Firefox. You'd click on Help, and then About, and it'll check to see if there's an update available. If there is, it'll request that you apply it. Updating Google Chrome is a little bit different, but similar. You click on this ellipsis here, and you click on Settings. Then you click on About, and it's going to automatically check for updates, and the user account control is going to come up. You click Yes, and that'll tell you if you need an update or not. Are you seeing a trend here? Here's Adobe Acrobat Reader. We're going to click on Help, and then Check for Updates. In my case, my Acrobat Reader is up to date. As a general rule, if you want to check if a program needs updating, you click on the Help menu and it might show Check for Updates or About, and then you'd go and find Updates. This has been Malware Part 2, where we helped you identify scareware, and we helped you to understand how to do legitimate updates. Thank you for watching. Thank you.